So I was 17 when I released Influent, which was like the very first time that I had debut as an artist. Something really fucked up happened the day that I released this actually, where I thought I was friends with some kids at my high school and the day this was released, I remember thinking it was weird that they never said anything to me. And then that day in class, a bunch of guys decided to play my song and music video out loud on their speakers. And they just like all huddled around the computer and started making fun of me in front of like the whole class. We were relatively in the same friend group and I'm pretty sure the guy who started it did it for a reason because he was a producer who I had discussed possibly getting to mix and master this song, but I said no because I wanted to do it on my own. While he was sitting there making fun of me, he was just like, damn, you really should have let me mix and master this. The mix is shit. My teacher for this class was a fucking deadbeat, so he just sat there and did nothing. Literally, fuck you, Mr. Clark. I just sat there at my desk crying. But there was one person from across the room who I wasn't too close with who overheard what was going on and said, Hey Mars, I think what you're doing is great. Don't listen to these guys. That really meant a lot to me because he was one of the only other musicians in our grade. So, you know, shout out to Hayden, wherever you are. But I think that first incident really set a precedence with how I perceive my art. Like, fuck, I had just been so excited after all of these years of feeling so insecure about putting out my own music only to have someone I guess I thought I was friends with completely just destroy what I had built. Looking back at it, I think I can laugh because the guy who made fun of me was literally like a SoundCloud rapper who made beats on Adobe Audition, but I still think about that event, what he said, and how humiliated I felt. It revealed something really scary to me about music, and that was that nobody, not even people you thought you were friends with, have the obligation to be nice to you. Everybody has their own opinions, and no matter what I do, I'm not going to be exempt from these people who come in and try to take what I've built. But at the same time, that's super exciting because it's like, oh, people are going to love and hate me no matter what I do. So I should just say fuck it and do exactly the thing I want to do, which is what I'm doing now. But God, it's taken a really fucking long time. But, you know, the guy who made fun of me was a retired SoundCloud rapper and I'm now in post-secondary for music. So who wins?
was that? <laughs> you just got initiated into some gang. <laughs> Yeah. You look cute. It's monster time. It is. But I want myself to be in it, so. It's just oh, transitional like, stuff. So aesthetic. Oh. Bitch. Obstruct. Obstruct. Boy. Uh. Can I like? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, I fell. <laughs> he's like swatching things on him, and he's like, "Get Isaiah, this what you, off me!" Are you taking a video? Yeah, of the kinetic sand. Bitch. It's so beautiful. I can't get the. Ah! <laughs> I can't do it. You want me to help? No. Fuck! Okay. You oh, don't swear. Not. Your phone's at 25, by the way, Maggie. Uh, here. It was at 27, like, That's good. five minutes ago, so we're good. Le like, remember, every time I go over there, change the lighting. Just, like, a little bit. Okay. Make it, like, high, low, or, like, whatever. Dude, like, we're just keep moving. You don't have to film aesthetic things. It'd be pretty annoying if every single shot started with <laughs> like some sort of panorama of like the room. Like the thing, I don't want to have like a winter shade and a summer shade. Like the thing is, in the winter, it's like too colory for me, and it looks stupid. You're just but, pale as fuck. Yeah, but in the summer, it gets too pale, and then I just look even stupider. So like, there's no. Hey, that's not a word. Stupider. There is so much Lana in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, focus. Could um, I don't know where I left my phone. I think I hope I left it downstairs. Boy. <laughs> Boy, focus. <laughs> oh, what time is it? Oh. Um, I have to don't have my phone for like four hours from now. I love you. <laughs> He's a loud purr boy. I love you. This actually looks really good. Thank you for loving me. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> Girls go to college to get more knowledge. Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. <laughs> I'd rather go to Jupiter than college. Some kid wrote yeah, butt plug all over my feet. my mom's a teacher now, and she some kid is writing <laughs> butt plug all over <laughs> all over the whiteboard. <laughs> Camera, there's something wrong with it. I know. Oh, that's weird. So long story short, we don't have a BTS. <laughs> Because Isaiah's camera is a piece of shit. It's like, no, I want to sleep. Is this on it? Of course it's on. Ah! That didn't work. Of course it's on autofocus. It's Isaiah, and he's. Don't bully me. Lazy. Anyways, I'm back. Oh! Oh! Oh, now it's on low battery. Now it's complaining. <laughs> Shout out to June for doing the lighting 
and Isaiah for being a cool film filmer film, and director and for June. directing as well. But congratulations to me! I'm doing it! <laughs> no, I'm just really excited. Anyways, I couldn't do it without these two. Yes, and... Sand is more important. 